Hello everyone. In the last video, we learned about solving systems of equations by graphing. But what if you don't have some handy graph paper lying around? Well, there are other methods, such as substitution. And we're going to learn about that today. Say you have a system of two equations. Our first equation is 3x plus 2 is equal to y. And our second equation is 2x minus 1 is equal to y. Now, our job is to find an x and y pair that satisfies both of these equations. That is, if you put in our x and y pair into the first equation, it would be true. And into the second equation, it would also be true. So, the substitution method. In the substitution method, you solve for one of the variables in one of the equations, and you solve for it in terms of the other variable. So, over here, we already have y in terms of x. So that step has already been done for us. Our second step is to take the value we got. So here, 3x plus 2 is equal to y. And we plug it in for that value in the second equation. So here 2x minus 1 is equal to y. And since our first equation says 3x plus 2 is also equal to y, and we're finding x and y values which satisfy both these equations, then 2x minus 1 must be equal to 3x plus 2. And now we've got an equation in one variable, which we already know how to solve. That would be minus 3 is equal to x. And since now you've solved for x, you can substitute x back into the equation. So 2 times minus 3. Either equation works for this. We can choose the first one as well. 2 times minus 3 minus 1 is equal to y. So y is equal to minus 7. And just to show how this works, which is pretty cool, We'll plug it into the second equation as well. 3 times minus 3 plus 2 is equal to y. So that's minus 9 plus 2, which is also minus 7. So our, x -y pair, our xy pair is minus 3 minus 7. That's the answer. Those are the xy values which satisfy both equations. So. Let's try a harder example. Here are two equations. 1. 4x minus 2y is equal to 3. And 2. x plus y is equal to 9 over 2. So, substitution. Step 1 is to take one of these equations and solve for one of the variables in terms of the other. So, the easiest equation to choose here would be the second equation, and we can choose either one of the variables. It works either way. So say x is equal to 9 over 2 minus y. We subtract y from both sides of the equation. So now we've got x in terms of y. And we take that and we substitute it back into the first equation. So if x is equal to 9 over 2 minus y, then we have 4 times 9 over 2 minus y minus 2y is equal to 3. And now we just multiply it out. 4 times 9 over 2 is 2 times 9, that's 18, minus 4y minus 2y is equal to 3. 18 minus 6y is equal to 3. So y is equal to or 15 is equal to 6y, so 15 over 6 is equal to y. And now, since we have y, we can solve for x. By substituting y in, or substituting 15 over 6 in for y, in either of our two equations. So we choose the easier one, that would be x plus y is equal to 9 over 2, x plus 15 over 6 is equal to 9 over 2, 
x is equal to 9 over 2 minus 15 over 6, so that's 27 over 6, which is equal to 12 over 6, 6, which is equal to 2. So xy is 2, 15 over 6. And to convince you further that this is right, we can plug this back into our first equation. So that would be 4 times 2 minus 2 times 15 over 6 is equal to 3. So that's 8 minus 15 over 3 is equal to 3. 8 minus 5 is equal to 3. And that is correct. Our pair works. So substitution is pretty cool. But there's an even cooler way to do this, which we'll do in the next video.